ransomware, drive failure, Windows issues. Anywhere you look, there's a way for the internet devils to destroy all of your data. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you the ultimate solution to data loss. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech, number one channel with the news on deck. Losing your personal files is the number one concern that you guys have voiced on my channel when it comes to PC issues, whether it be drive failure or even ransomware. You probably had a PC technician tell you, eh, you should have backed up your data. Well, why aren't more people backing up their data? Let's talk about it. Now, there's plenty of backup solutions that you can buy at consumer stores or even online, whether it be USB flash drives, USB hard drives, or even large enclosures like this one, which has five bays and or you can even get yourself a full NAS or build your NAS. Problem lies is reliability and convenience. Oftentimes these are unreliable, USB hard drives can break and a network attached storage can also sometimes be encrypted by really sophisticated ransomware, especially if you're not really savvy with your network security to where the NAS can't be accessible to ransomware. Acronis Cyber Protect Home Office, formerly known as Acronis True Image, is already known as the number one backup protection in the world as of 2022. But aside from its impressive backup technology, Acronis Cyber Protect Home Office is currently the only suite that I trust with all of my data. And before I lose you, this is not some boring backup program. This is a full data and computer protection system. So we have under the protection tab, we have full ransomware protection with virus scanner. It detects crypto mining and any type of attack on your data. So it's also a antivirus solution and a very effective one at that. It's already protected me from seven threats that ESET didn't detect me from. Mind you, they were small things. This is very sensitive. This is very high security. So if you have important data, you want to have your security set on high. So we can run a full scan here. And also we can go into our detected issues and we can also tweak it here. So that's a very nice feature. Under the tool section, this is where it gets very advanced, but you don't have to know anything about it. All of it is very simple to use and to understand. Going right here, we can clone our disk. So if I want to clone my entire C drive, I can make a complete image copy of my C drive so that if I want to replace my hard drive or God forbid if it fails or is completely compromised, I can get another drive off the shelf, put it in and it's gonna be exactly the way it was before except that I have new hardware. Now, Rescue Media Builder is really cool. I've made entire videos about building, you know, bootable utilities to rescue a computer that won't boot. The Acronis Rescue Media Builder makes it super simple for you to plug in a USB flash drive of your choice and create a rescue drive to where you can boot off that. If your computer won't boot, it'll help you fix your machine as well as recover any lost data. Now, if you have parallels and you want to access your computers through mobile, this is another access tool there. Under system cleanup, this is very nice. One of the big issues a lot of people have is that oftentimes you might have 40 gigs or more of temp files and junk files and duplicates that are sitting on your computer taking up space. This is a very advanced feature that will scan for all that stuff that can be safely removed and it will clean up space on your drive. Now, Acronis Secure Zone is a nice feature that helps you create a hidden partition on the hard drive for you to secure your private things to where no one can access it but you. This is particularly effective if you don't want your significant other to know that you have a thing for tech YouTubers. Now the backup features are the star of the show. This may look pretty basic, but it's actually got a ton of technology in the back end. Normally when I try to copy my user directory or, any, or even my entire hard drive over to another source, it's gonna give me a whole bunch of permission issues. And that's, that's a real problem. I'm gonna go ahead and copy all my videos, which is very important in my line of work. I'm gonna try and copy over to videos over here. Actually, I'll put it in uh, Cronus Backups. So I try to paste it here, and it'll paste it because I've only done the videos directory, but it's limited to like 110 megabits. I have a super NAS with 32 gigs of RAM, a Xeon processor, HBA controller, 10 hard drives, dual gigabit, and my network is fast. So there's no reason why this should be this slow. Problem is, is that Windows is limited there, and it also is gonna have the permission issues unless I use like the PowerShell, like Robocopy, but m that's, it's tedious, and most people don't even do backups because of this slow, tedious nature to backups. So to do a backup here, I can add a backup and then it's automatically choosing my whole computer 
and it's offering me to send it to the Acronis Cloud, which your subscription, depending on which one you have, um, they gave me the premium one that uh, for this video, and I have five terabytes of free storage. So if I want to send it straight to Acronis, that is the most secure way because it's protected there, I can encrypt it, and ransomware definitely can't get it, and no matter where in the world I am, I can always get my backups. But if I don't want to do that and I want to use my own external drive, or if I want to do a specific place, I'm going to go ahead and send this to my NAS just to show you the performance. And going to Acronis Backups, and I'm going to go ahead and back up now. Now I was limited to 110 megabits on my network, but when I was doing it with Acronis, you're going to see the difference. Now it's backing up my entire user directory, which is over 100 gigs of data, it might be even 250 gigs, and I'm currently transferring at over 770 megabits per second. Remember I was only transferring at 110 maximum using Windows Explorer and my own methods. So the technology that Acronis uses is very fast at transferring, even across my own network, which on my own was significantly slower. Sure I could accomplish these kind of speeds through the PowerShell, but that's very command line commando-ish and this is just so simple for even you at home to do and this is going to save me a ton of time so I can encrypt I can encrypt the entire hard drive over there I can save the entire computer over there and it's not going to take me weeks and weeks of transferring because of me having to restart it because of a permission issue this is just going to do it if you're going to do a backup and you don't want you don't have a lot of drives you don't have a lot of flash drives then just go to Acronis Cloud and get the um, get the premium or the one right below it so you at least have 500 gigs of storage but if you go to the premium you can start out with one terabyte for free and then you can add on as much space as you want whether it be two terabyte three terabyte four terabyte five terabyte and you can even you know change it based upon your needs as things go by highly recommend the Acronis Cloud for that but if you do have a lot of drives like I do and you have invested already into a lot of backup solutions and you just needed this to speed things up and make it super easy and also to make it more secure then this is definitely the way to go now if you follow the link in the description to Acronis's website here you can see that it starts at $49.99 and if you go to the compare section, we can see the different features and the essentials, which is $49.99, covers everything that we've talked about so far, except it doesn't have the cloud storage. If we go over to the advanced and the premium, we have everything we talked about, but the advanced will also have 500 gigabytes of included storage. So that is more than enough for the average user that's not saving a ton of videos and games and thousands and thousands of pictures. This is a significantly large cloud storage, and that's more than enough. If you go over to the premium, which they demonstrated today, is one terabyte included, and you can also scale that up to as high as five terabytes. If you go to the Buy Now tab, the pricing is $49.99 for the essentials, $89.99 with the 500 gigabytes is uh, for the advanced, and the premium, which I'm demonstrating today with the one terabyte, or you can upgrade that to five. You don't have to do that now. You can always add that on as you go, but right off the bat, one terabyte is included for free with the premium, which is $124.99. Acorn has also included an exclusive discount for viewers of this channel. If you use promo code NICONOSETECH2022, you get an additional 20% off. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you next time.